there I was, minding my own business, watching YouTube videos of bag sales. <laughs> and here comes this beautiful, rare coach bag. My name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me in the babe cave today. Yeah, you heard that right. I watch YouTube videos just like you all and I notice these other thrifters or resellers like myself. I go to their channels too. <laughs> I don't always purchase a bag. The channel I'm referring to is Cloverleaf Bags. And I didn't know about this channel until I heard about it on Dee Dee Bean. So I'm blaming you, Dee Dee, for this purchase as well. <laughs> but I've watched some of her videos. She has some superb bags and the prices are amazing. So go check her out. Subscribe. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> she has all kinds of brands. So here's my story. I'll make it quick because I know you want to see it. I got my Rakuten cash back. And I always leave my link down below because of this reason. I also get commission from referrals, but I also make purchases which give me cash back. So I had just recently got an $87 Rakuten cash back. I'm like, ooh, it's burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> 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 no, not really. Um, so it was the timing of it all and I'm watching this video and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get this bag. <laughs> so this bag caught me and I'll, I'll just show you the bag and then get to my story and rabbit hole and I got so much information to tell you about this bag. So I already used it so this is not a true unboxing or anything and it is right here. This bag right here, when she did this up close, can you see the pebbling on this bag and the giant turn lock? That's what caught my eye. And here's the hang tag. This pebbling is so soft and it is very, very giant pebbled. And I'll explain in a little bit what I learned about the inside patch. Um, so it has a back pocket. It is so on trend with the east-west because it's 12 across by seven up and down and you know about about one and a half depth. Has the back pocket for your phone. Beautiful drop. I forgot to measure the shoulder drop. A 12 inch shoulder drop. Perfect. Antique you know, gold hardware that says coach on the bottom. Just look at the pebbling and it was in like new condition. And also there was this little tag that was attached to it. And right here it shows the, hopefully I can show it. It shows the style number and the retail at the time, 328. I fell in love with, I love when bags have this super giant pebbling in this beautiful camel color <laughs> and inside of the strap there is smooth leather under there. So let me open this big giant turn lock so you can see inside. <laughs> it has the beautiful silk material that I remember having bags of my of my own with the same material but it was they had turquoise and purples and pinks and you know so it's in the 2000s era this bag is from 2007 <laughs> inside it has a zipper pocket with the patch and then a little spot for your your keys if you wanted to hang it there and then on this side it has two slip pockets so it has the silk beige lining. 
I looked up the patch, which I will be talking about. But first, she also threw in a couple extras. Thank you, Robin. Uh, forgot to mention, her name is Robin. So she threw in a cute little extra for me, a little key pouch. Cute. And you always need tissues for your bag, so. And of course, it's green. Her clover leaf is her, her resale name, I guess, clover leaf bags. Shipped it super fast, highly recommend. This bag made me go down a giant rabbit hole. Let's start out with the serial number, okay? I will pop it up here, and the serial number is K0782-11614. The K stands for October. 07 is 2007 when this one came out. The 82 is the place where it was manufactured, which I couldn't find. <laughs> and the style number is 11614. I'm just gonna show you the bottom. I forgot to show you that. Usually I use my Google Lens and I'll type in, she called it the rare Coach Legacy Candace shoulder bag. And I knew the serial number. So I typed in the serial number. I tried Coach Candace and it popped up a bunch of different like tote bags. And, and then also I typed this dial number in and it would pop up. People were calling it the Ergo bag. So... The name is a mystery still to me because I only found one listing with this exact color and everything about it, the style, the silk interior, and they called it the Coach Legacy Candace, and it's apparently a rare bag. If anyone knows the name of this bag, feel free to drop it down below. <laughs> there was only about three or four listings for a bag like this. And they all called it Ergo Pebbled Shoulder Bag or something like that. And only one with the Candace. <laughs> so I, I don't know the name. But so then I started reading. I read the patch even further. And I'll pop it up here as I'm reading it to you. This is a coach bag. It was handcrafted in China of completely natural soft milled cowhide. The variations in the grain are characteristic of natural full grain leather. So then I went, well, what is milled leather? And so I looked up, or my husband actually sent me the link. What, what is milled leather? So there are two types of milled leather. And one is soft milled leather and one is plain milled leather. So this leather is top grain quality leather, soft being better quality. So I believe this is soft milled leather. And it further goes on to say, it's just the term milled is a way to separate nicer cowhide from cheaper or split skin. Like a split leather is what I'm taking that as. So the milled actually refers to the part of production where the leather is put into a milling machine and rotated. Basically like a large clothes dryer without heat and air. Minus those two things. So it softens the leather. And it allows those gorgeous lines to just radiate off of this bag. You see the... radiate's not the right word. But the giant lines and pebbling just really comes through on this bag. So it intensifies those lines from the milling process. So I believe that this is, uh, the soft milled is slightly thicker and much softer to the touch. And this is soft to the touch. So anyway, I, uh, I love this bag. I still don't really know 
what the name of this bag is, but it is definitely gorgeous, soft leather. Like it's almost perfect. There might be like a couple of marks on it, but I can't even see them right now. Whether it's called the Ergo or the Candice, I don't really care. I just want it to be real. And after reading about the leather process and what kind this is, I, I do believe it is real. <laughs> I just don't think people remember or uh, know what it's called. And then there's this another thing I found on the inside. I had never seen this before. I'll pop up a picture over here and it's on the patch, there are two circles or bullseye on the patch. And I was like, well, what are those bullseyes? I've never seen that before on a coach bag. Those two circles mean that it was a retail bag that went to the outlet for a discount. <laughs> Even back in 2007, they were doing a probably reserve or bringing these bags to the outlet. If they had an abundance of them, they probably discounted them and brought them over to the outlet. This is definitely a retail bag. It has so many things that I went down the rabbit hole looking for because I had never seen the bullseye. I never read a patch like that with milled leather. <laughs> this is an extraordinary 2007 shoulder bag with this giant pebbling. So happy I got it. I paid under $100 with shipping. Yeah. Look how large the turn lock is. Let's compare it to my Willis bag, you'll see. Look at the, the difference in this one and this one. <laughs> I love it. It is an excellent find, no regrets. I wish I knew the name of it, but do it doesn't really matter. I know it's legit. I know more about this bag than a lot of my coach bags. Because that's just how I am. I have to research. I want to make sure I'm not getting a fake. I want to dive right in. <laughs> Tell me if you're the same way down below. So thank you for your video, Robin, AKA Cloverleaf Bags. I spent my Rakuten money and I only had to pay what a few dollars more cause I got $87 in Rakuten cash. It was money well spent in my opinion. And I really am trying to be more mindful of my purchases. So this is my first purchase of August and it took at least half the month to get. So I am trying to not over consume, over buy just because it's hyped up or if you don't have the funds and you don't want to spend it on that and you have a lot of inventory or bags. I mean, I have been enjoying my current bags, but I could not help that one. I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> so anyway, I thank you all. And let me know if you do know the name of that bag. I know it's real. I know it was a, a Coach Boutique bag. I just don't know the name. So, anyway, okay. thank you for subscribing. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe to my channel. It's about handbags, accessories, and I talk about all kinds of things related to bags. Subscribe to find out more. And I hope you learned a little bit about milled leather. I sure did. So thank you all for watching, staying till the end, put a little happy face emoji if you stayed, and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye!